<coughs> President Allen, Headmaster Taylor, trustees, distinguished faculty, <laughs> class of 2017, and your families, today is a day of joyous celebration and reflection. The Trinity Pauling education goes far beyond the classroom, and as an alumnus, I place great value on my years here at TP, where life lessons were not only learned in the classroom, but on the playing field and the many relationships forged, especially with the dedicated faculty committed to helping all of us become good citizens and enabling us to be our best. Class of 17, as you celebrate today, do not forget your family, the faculty, and staff who have rooted for your success and have dedicated themselves to your education. Make the people who supported you proud of their effort and sacrifice. I sent my three sons to Trinity Pauling with the hope that their education here would positively impact their lives as it did mine. Whenever I return to Trinity Pauling, I feel a sense of, well, of belonging. And I have the opportunity, if only for a fleeting moment, to feel as if I'm standing in your shoes, but now with more experience, more appreciation, definitely some gray hair, and an understanding of the significance of the education you've received here. An education at TP, by design, provides you the support and guidance necessary to help you reach this achievement. It has been about giving to you. And now as you enter the next stage of your life of adulthood, your experience should be about giving back to others. You've received an education on morals and ethics, but you will soon come to realize, as you leave this protective womb, that you will often be tested on these convictions. There often is improper appreciation for those who choose a course of action, not for recognition, but because it's the right thing to do. Strong ethical decision making is the key to a successful, well-lived life. And it is, I believe, one of the foundations of education here at Trinity Park. It takes but only one individual to stand up for what is right, leading by example, giving back to their community, and giving all of their effort for a cause in order to effect change for the good. Before me today are men with great potential. And it is not your education in history, math, science, that you will remember most but the education you received on leadership, community, and effort. Leadership. Leadership is often misunderstood as we tend to think of a leader as an individual standing before a group, motivating towards an achievement of a goal or purpose. However, leadership goes much deeper. Many of you may not have been captain of a sports team, head of a club, or a prefect. But I would point out to you that you have experienced leadership here at TP. A leader leads by example and thinks beyond self, shows up on time, takes responsibility, is respectful, courteous, and kind to others. Setting and leading by example is a purest form of leadership. And if you can't lead yourself, no one will follow the example. So lead by example. Community. Community is not just living with people. Community is accepting others for their similarities and differences. Community is built by embracing those differences and finding a common ground. The TP community is diverse and built from many faiths, cultural experiences, diverse social and economic backgrounds of our student body, faculty, administrators, parents, and alumni. Community is hard to build and even harder to maintain. Community requires commitment, a long-term commitment to shared values, and is nurtured by hope, not fear. It is far too easy to point out a difference, or worse, to hate. You have learned that you are all different, and the strength of this community is built upon the love and respect you maintain for each other as brothers from this community. So build communities. Effort. Effort is a cornerstone of this educational institution's foundation. And our founder, Dr. Gamage, has quoted, whether a boy succeeds in the first instance at all he attempts is irrelevant. Over time, effort inevitably yields achievement. The only time a boy truly fails is when he fails to try. 
Gentlemen, I'm sure your families and the faculty will back me up on this. You are not guaranteed anything in life, period. Just because you put in effort does not mean you will always have success. If you set a goal with the presumption of success, you will find yourself not only disappointed, but nothing to show for it. Set an expectation that you will give all your effort. Effort encourages us to keep trying, to give more if needed, to gain solace that the best was given, or satisfaction for a job well done. Continue to maintain a work ethic, keep trying, give all your effort. You have a head start and a foundation which to build your success, and you have your dreams ahead of you, your life's work to find and achieve. Go out into the world now not to take, but to give. You will find in time that Trinity Pauling has had an impact on your life, and in time you will find that you will be drawn back. Your friendships from here will be some of the longest, your memories some of the fondest, and in time, maybe like me, you'll bring your children back to see and understand the institution which has had such an impact on your life. And if you should ever feel as if you're losing your way, you can always rekindle your convictions by returning to Trinity Pauling. May God bless the class of 2017, and may your success in life continue because of your leadership, your community, and especially from your effort. Do well today.